So now we've got the positions of our joints. We calculated them using trigonometry from our very first positions. But what we want to do now is go, right, what is the halfway point between those two joints? And doing that is pretty simple. So um, let me clear this sketch up and start with our, our new points. So what I've got over here, this is, um, this is joint one, and that has the position x, j1 and y j1 and somewhere over here uh, we've got joint 2 and that has the position x j2 and y j2 so the question I'm asking is what is the halfway point and if you remember go back to my introductory video you'll, you'll see why we want to find out that halfway point essentially we're going to go halfway between these two and then find out what the position of those tools would be what would they be the intersection points on that circle so what I'm really asking is what is halfway between there and there in both the x and the y position so once again let's try and write an equation for that so I'm going to call that center point, if I draw a line between it, imagine that straight, uh, I'm going to call that center point there, I'm going to give it the letter A. So what I want to know is what is the X position of that point A? Hmm, that's going to be tricky. Well, the other way of asking it is what is halfway between the X position here and the X position there? And if that sounds relatively trivial, that's because it is. All I need to do is, if I'm just looking at that halfway point, I'm going to take the larger number, xj2, minus the small number, xj1, and then divide that in half. Right? And that will give me this distance here, from there to there, or from there to there, halfway point along that line. But once again, it's not just this point sitting isolated out in space. I want to know how far in from the left hand side is, is this. And so I'm going to add x, j, 1 onto there. Now it does depend on whether we're counting in from the um, in from the left or in from the right. Obviously here I'm counting in from the left. Uh, and so we can write that as the x position for a. Now what about the y position for a? Well, exactly the same process. I can take this distance here, halve it, and then add whatever is the, the, the lowest value, and that will give me that. So go ahead now and try and write this out uh, for the y position uh, of that point A. Once we've done that, we'll come back and uh, do the final step, which is finding those tool locations.